Hi, once again, welcome to Cloud Lab. My name is Marco Martinez, and today we have a very cool experiment using DJI, Telo, and Twilio programmable SMS messages. So for this project, uh, you have to go to my uh, GitHub account, go under DJI Tele Experiments, and also go to the subfolder called Twilio SMS Comments. So here we have instructions, and let's start with the instructions. So first, let me create a new folder. So let me just uh make directory let's call this english let's go to that folder let's start so we have first to clone the repository okay it's cloning so we are on the we are using the first command cloning so while we wait, let's take a look at the diagram and uh, let's, in the meantime, let's also keep this. Okay, it's completed. So let's go to the go to the folder. Now, what is the third step? Is to install the required libraries. Installing. Okay. So this okay, quite fast. So now the fourth step and the fifth step are we have to execute those commands at the same time. So basically to start our our server and to also open a tunnel to basically expose our local IP address of our public internet. So let's take a look at our diagram. So first here we have on the left side we have our user. Our user is communicating to Twilio programmable voice, SMS, chat. They have a contact center and multi-factor notification so they have a bunch of products but right now we are using programmable sms messages so our user is sending an sms message to twilio so we procure a usd did number for that so we're sending an sms message to that number and that's owned by twilio twilio will do an http as post request with a uh, with a body uh, with xml parameters i'm sorry with a url encoded parameters and it's sending those uh, parameters at that body to our uh, tunnel provider. In this case, we're using Servio as SHH tunnel port forwarding. That is obviously we are connected to a router to the or to the internet, and we are connected. Our computer is connected to the internet through an Ethernet cable, and we are connected to our Telodron using Wi-Fi. So again, your computer is connected to your DJI Telodron using Wi-Fi and it's connected to the internet using an Ethernet cable or LAN cable. Okay, so uh, let's uh, do the let's start server. It's an express server. Okay, it started, and in a different uh, console window. I'm going to start this command expose local server to public internet. So here's where we are using uh, Servio to basically tunnel or basically to expose or, or, or local server to the public. Okay, it's done. So it's forwarding HTTP traffic from HTTP to from our local host port 3000 to HTTPS veritas uh, servero.com. Okay, so let's copy this. Okay, and you have again for for this uh, experiment you have to own or you have to have your own tool account. So in this case, this is my personal account. This is my account ID. As you can see, I only have thirteen dollars in my balance, and I already procured one phone number. So I use phone number, that's the cheapest number available. It's on only one dollar per month, and under the phone configuration on the, the phone properties. So I'm gonna just go again. So I'm in phone numbers. I'm going to click on the number that, that I procure, 1956 from Texas. I'm going to scroll down on messaging. And here messaging, so we have to, it's asking when a message comes comes in, well, where do you want me to send the parameters? So I'm going to just, uh, okay, let's see, Feritas, Feritas, well, so it's feritas.servio.net. Okay, so let's copy that. Um, okay, 
forward slash SMS commands because in our server, in our express server, we are only listening to uh, HTTP POST request on that um, on on that path. So clicking save. Okay, so we have that. And um, before we do anything else, uh, let's go on step by step and see what we have to do or what, just to try to understand how this application works. So first, if we go to the readme file uh, on the, uh, let's go online, we have the list of commands available for the drone. So this is actually the commands that we can send to our drone. So command, take off, land, emergency, land, up, down, and, and a number extra commands let me also show you how it will look and i create a custom custom commands weight and the number of seconds level and height and also here we have uh, on this section on udp message definitions this is actually the response or the 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 information that's available from the drone so if we query this information from the drone we we can get this information so the uh, percentage of battery height and all that information it's available from the drone and we actually uh, program our server to respond to an SMS message with the, the with the drone current drone information so you will see that information in your in, in the SMS message and here Tulio SMS body so this is what Tulio is sending on every HTTP post request it's sending on the body as a URL encoded it's sending all this information okay so let's uh, take a look and see how it looks from Twilio. So I'm going to just, I, I already sent a previous message. And, okay, incoming messages. So let me click there. So you will see how they, how they look. Okay. Okay, they don't have any. Okay. Okay, then we have any HTTP work as well. I'm gonna show you how I the look. So, so here I'm opening Postman uh, just to show you how uh, this uh, this thing looks like, how the request looks like. So it's loading. So in the meantime, as uh, additional information on how to understand how this thing works, uh, I included a couple of useful useful links. One of them is to how to enable SSH on Windows, and the second one is how to how the two email message works. So, so when uh, let's take a look. Let's go again to our diagram here. So our diagram here. So we're sending a message. Tulio is sending a post request with a URL encoded body to our server, and Twilio as response. Tulio is expecting to receive a 200k uh, status response with an XML body response. So Twilio calls those body response with XML uh, format. They call them email files or email language and with email language basically here this is how it looks exactly so it means uh, for Twilio it means what do you want to do with that message with uh, its actions that you want to to take so Twilio provides verbs or actions that you can uh, do as as response of an, a trigger so in this case we're triggering uh, that phone number is trigger from, uh, from a SMS message where sending that trigger to a server and our server is responding with a twiml file with an action and or with a verb and our verb is that we want to respond back to the to the user with another sms message with information so Twilio has a bunch of verbs actions that you can do with phone calls and with the messages so again i recommend you to take a look and uh, dig into the computation and experiment with different twiml verbs uh, it's, it's again it's pretty cool uh, again it's it's weird because you're working with uh, post your own code it then you have to respond back with XML files uh, with this twiml uh, uh, structure but once you get it it's it's straightforward and Twilio also offers libraries for handling those XML files or that XML response for not GS, C sharp PHP Ruby Python Java but for in this case, for this uh, demo, it's so simple. We are only responding with a message that we are building our XML files ourselves. So here in the index, 
js file where uh, I'm going to choose XML, XML. Yes, as you can see, we're just replying in our body with uh, with basically the 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 tags that are required for for the XML file, and we are responding here on our Express post request. We're setting a header contact type application XML file, so we're basically responding with an XML file when we receive a message on our server that is hosted on our computer. So things that we can change here uh, at the top. So we can change the server port. This is for our Express server. So Express is for handling the HTTP request. Right now it's listening on port 3000. We have our UDP uh, port. Those are for required for the drone. So you don't have to change anything here. Nothing here. Here, this is your Telodron IP. This is the default IP address that when you connect to your Telodron on Wi-Fi, your computer, I'm sorry, you, the drone, the drone will always have the the IP address 192.168.10.1, and your computer will get the number two. So 192.168.10.2 for your computer and one for the drone. Things that you can also change here. So because we are we are receiving a list of uh, of or actually the information that's available from the drone it's it's huge it's all this information that we can receive at once and uh, so we I actually created an a list to ignore a, a list of commands so if you add or remove uh, parameters from this list you those you will not receive those parameters in the SMS response in the, in the SMS message response okay uh, what also the library is pretty simple. You are again we are just listening on our Express uh, server for an HTTP request. This is our UDP server for handling the UDP messages for the status and for the drone for sending also to the drone. Uh, this is basically what we are doing here. Uh, that this is kind of neat is that because we are sending a list of let me show you. This is Postman because we can send a list of commands. So, so command take off land. So how, how the drone knows exactly how to handle each of those requests. So basically for that, I'm doing a, a list and I'm only going to the next object on the list or the, the next uh, yes, item on the list when I'm receiving an okay response from the drone. So once the drone, once the drone completes the first command, it will respond with an OK. And so that's how I know that we can move forward with the next command. So this is how we are handling commands. These are custom commands. Next command, XML Builder. And that's, that's it. So it's quite simple, mm, not very complicated. So let's start. So let me start recording on my cell phone. And also let me connect to my drone. And now I'm gonna also record the drone with another camera, so you you can you will see exactly how it looks from my point of view. So I'm gonna record from uh, let me see, couple of different sources. So I have the drone. Let me turn on the drone. Okay. So the drone is on, so I'm gonna just click here for to see the available Wi-Fi networks. Okay, Telo B580C3, that's the SSID of my drone. I'm connecting. So again, once again, I'm connected to the internet using an Ethernet cable. I'm connected to the drone using Wi-Fi. Okay, so let me start recording the drone. And also let me start recording my uh, cell phone screen. So you will see how it looks in a minute. So I have my NOT server on. This is actually the tunnel. And this is my NOT server, not my express server. So let's send a message to Cloud Love. So let's send command, command. Take, take off.
counterclockwise 100 and land okay so we're sending those commands let me start recording the screen so you will see how it looks like okay we're ready let me also have this And as you can see, it receives a status of the drone. So why I'm receiving messages in, in, in a different number? So because I'm from Mexico and my cell phone is from Mexico, obviously uh, Tulio is using a different carrier to send message, SMS messages to local numbers in Mexico. So that's the reason why. But if you're in US and you're sending messages to the, your Tulio number, you will receive the messages on the same number. Again, so let's try, try again. So command, so take off. Take off. Forward. Forward 100. CCW 200 counterclockwise rotate counterclockwise clock up 100 and then land once again as you can see this time I received the, the status of the drone Okay, we have a small failure because we crashed. But I can do that one is fine. So I can do you very much got it. So uh, once again, yes, we're receiving the status of the drone. So battery ninety percent and everything from from the drone. So I, I hope you like it and uh, have a wonderful day. Uh, have a wonderful day and I hope to to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.